Hi everyone. <coughs> I recently have been posted few videos, two videos actually. Those include the subject of timetable or table of time. And I just just want to demonstrate that here from the very beginning <coughs> of where it should start if you haven't gotten into that and basically for the most of people that will be our groups of five notes five even notes over a quarter note beat and seven since we are going to go through one beat, a quarter note, then two beats, that will be our eight notes, three beats, which is eight note triplet, four sixteenths, five, which is like quintuplet, six, seven, and eight. And I'm shortly just going to demonstrate that by playing one bar each of those groupings so one bar will be four quarter notes so you'll you'll see the shift there so 60 bpm this is our quarter note one bar is four quarter notes one two that is one bar. Okay? So let's demonstrate that. Here we had <coughs> bar of one note per quarter note, one, two, two even notes, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I'll probably be referring to this subject of timetable as group of three notes per quarter note, <coughs> even three three even notes, four, five, six, seven and eight instead of quintuplets or four sixteen notes and such and people, uh, most drummers, excuse me if, if I can approach it from my perspective at first you're kind of familiar with Eight notes, triplet, sixteenth, thirty second, and so on. But fives, sevens, nines, ten, elevens, and so on. But this is like very solid foundation, you know. Just by adding fives and seven, and just by practicing those shifts through time which will greatly help you in, in that understanding. So, I'm just going through, once again, through 1 to 8. In one bar segments, using right-left sticking. Here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4.
what you are looking for here is really to be very even and that you come out at one from five to six and that kind of thing so for the sake of that I, I really love to practice it with eight notes so we are going double the tempo so this will be our eight notes but we are doing the same thing exactly so the tempo hasn't changed we just have more subdivisions to guide us through those let's go one more time same thing with eight notes in our metronome pulse let's go <laughs> okay, so quarter note, one, the first thing probably would be five even notes in one quarter note beat so if you aren't familiar with fives you just have to kind of get there gradually step by step just let's say we play our 16 notes, which will be 4 beats per quarter note so you take just right hand for example and do that try to fit 4 even notes this will be 2 double that right and now we have 4 even notes was one quarter note and just now we are going to five so try to try to move out the tempo here a bit and the, the, the way I've practiced that was through you can do like uh, you can divide 5 into 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 into those instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 you go 1, 2 and 1, 2, 3 one two one two three one two one two three that's very convenient or the word that I've heard in Thomas Lang's video which correlates very good to to example of five is hippopotamus 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 right hippopotamus hippopotamus Right? I, I, English is not my native language, language <laughs> as you can hear, so I just say hippopotamus, 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 right? Or, or think of that as one to one to three, one to one to three, and slow down the tempo. So now we are learning our fives, so no need to rush. So I, this is 40 BPM. So let's jam in four even notes in, in there. Of 
Okay. That's about that for your notes. search a bit and when you get comfortable enough to play those fives a little more, more accurate that is your start really you know so so let's and then you got you get kind of obsessed with practicing fives you know when you're doing something else or I just feel here like this, I guess dr drummers do that. I have a clock that is ticking really 60 BPM per second, per minute. Or, and, the, and then just... You, you can't hear the... Well, let's see. Five, you know. One to one to three, no? Okay, so practice it. Practice that in any occasion. Have fun, have fun with that, okay? Now, and you'll get there pretty soon. Now, to just the same thing will be with sevens really you know it just it is just the string longer string of notes even notes through one quarter note so experiment with that you know try it your own way find a way to get there here are just some you know how to get to five if you never done it you know just slowly start, you know, no need to worry hurry or anything like that, but let me just give you a couple more pointers on five, you know, in, in which way you can start to develop later on fives. If, okay, let's, let's do this without the metronome. So, just going to play five notes on our right hand, then on our left. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Just practice those. 
you can in the same manner kind of progress by doing groups of one or just single strokes right left sticking or or left right you know that's an option too but two per hand three four Six, seven, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, eight. So seven. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Okay? Same rules go for a quarter note, seven even beats and start slowly, you know, take your time if we have this sticking in groupings of five it will be right, left, right, left, right then it will switch to left hand left, right, left, right, left right, five, five even notes to illustrate that if you put an accent on the first note of the five, you'll get right. I personally didn't found this method of accenting very useful in learning my group of five notes maybe you will I found, found it very easier to just think it in terms of same volume but nevertheless you're going to do accents anyway later on so if we have that subdividing one to one to three one to one, two, we are going to do it like this. One to one to three one to one to three. Right hand to hand, right left sticking. One to one to three one to one to three one. Accenting one. One to one to three one to one to three. Now. On the subject of expanding that, expanding, expanding that, uh, we are going to look for more ways to play that. And what I mean by this is kind of knowing your phrasing or your phrases, which will this this will be a phrase. In, to know your phrase phrasings in excuse me to know your phrasings inside out so if you do it this way you can get the exact same phrase by playing it like this Right, sticking sticking wise, you can start with left. Same thing. You can get that same phrase just with right hand. Right, just with left. You can, for example, just do. like this finish right left right left right then get back to right hand like playing a half of that 10 notes 2 times 5 10 like this same with left
so you have a lot of possibilities and take it slowly, ex ex explore those possibilities, you know, <laughs> like uh, there's a lot of ways and I like to do, the, to do that, you know, I like to take one phrase, whatever that might be and try to figure out different ways of playing that sticking wise and then when you do it with one hand you, you will understand that in order to, to do that good or faster or solid just you're going to have to practice your molar technique in three notes right in two so that will help for these fives because we have right we have one two right one to 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 one and we have one two three one two three one two three one right so uh, from from necessity to play phrase a certain way with certain sticking you're going to kind of want to do it better you know so you will see that you miss something technically and then then start to develop that technique more just putting it a little bit to practicing from desire to 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 play it better kind of you know so those thoughts can, can maybe help you in some way. Now to further illustrate <coughs> these concepts, <coughs> you will just have to, to play with this, you know. When you get a hold of 5 <coughs> and 6, just, just try to go from 4 to 5. Back to four, back to five, back to four, two, eight, five, four, and play with that. And just maybe use some dynam dynamics. And I started doing this yet yesterday. It was fun I'm going on, I'm going from one to eight in kind of this like waves on the shore manner so to speak so like, like I, Now just play, you know, have fun, don't worry too much about technique or anything like that, you know, just try to fit those 5, 7, 8, 6, 7 notes in one quarter note and move around a bit. If this is your first encounter with this, just take it easy it will be fun for sure so I guess this is the video for now so have fun everyone
and thanks for checking these videos out. It means a lot to me. Take care. Bye.